I'm not used to this room, it's new. Hello, I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a very happy new year and is ready and excited for 2020. 2020 still seems so strange to me, like it just doesn't sound right, it's crazy that it's 2020 already. Um, but I am quite excited for this year. So I really quickly just wanted to pop in and say when I was editing I noticed I have foundation or like powder all around my lips. Um, it's painfully unattractive and it's very frustrating. And now I've said it, it's probably the only thing you'll notice but I had to say this because otherwise I knew that somebody will say like, look, let's face it, I'm not very good at makeup and I managed to miss the fact that my lips look awful. Anyway, um, I'm rambling so I'm gonna get on with the video. Let's go, just try not to look at my lips. I was planning to make a shop, ignore the sound of the dishwasher, I'm in the kitchen today. Um, I told you last video I was going to make an online shop and also do market fairs. Um, what am I saying? Craft fairs. Craft fairs and markets and things. So that's something I'd really like to do this year. So I'm going to start off on the best foot. And while I don't have any client deadlines, I am starting to plan some prints that I can sell um, at those kind of events and I want them to be things people would actually want so if there's any prints you would really like like please comment and let me know but in the meantime I thought because I really my, my style and way of working is all based on nine like travel posters um, and old travel posters I got really inspired by like 1950s 19 um, I think it was 19, 1950s 1940s travel posters while I was at university so I started to kind of make my work very, and it's obvious I think that you can see my inspiration comes from that era so I thought why not make some modernised travel posters something I really enjoy and I can choose some locations that mean a lot to me but also I asked on Instagram um, anyone's ideas and input on travel posters and I've got quite a few cool ideas so I have them listed on my phone and I'm just making some plans and making a start to a few so I'll show you where I'm at this. But also, my laptop is having some current issues. So, so I turned on my Mac the other day, and it told me that its battery is is faulty. I can't remember the notification I was seeing on my for service battery so I need to bring up the Apple store but the Apple store is like um, a good half hour drive for me and it's kind of tricky to park there so I don't really want to risk it on a day that I'm working in the school so I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get an appointment with them tomorrow um, if not over the weekend but hopefully tomorrow and probably have to send my laptop in which is going to be like a real hit for the beginning of the year like no one wants to have to give up their work machine and I obviously don't have another computer I do have my iPad though so I'm not totally out of work but still very annoying so I'm on the kitchen table again um, because we have builders I don't know if you can see the builders from here kind of they're up there anyway um, there they are <laughs> which basically means my room and studio which is there is unlivable so we have the noise of the dishwasher and we have the kitchen <laughs> So one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to read more books and a nice way I'm doing that is once a month I'm also making sure I read an audiobook. So they're mostly fiction to be honest. I uh, I go through stages with non-fiction, sometimes I prefer it. I mean like, they're very different to me. One's learning and one I'm just listening to to kind of enjoy and have in the background. I find it depends what I'm working on but usually fiction stuff where I don't really need to concentrate. I'm fine to have that in the background when I work not so much non-fiction because I'm trying to like take in the information so usually fiction I just listened to one called The Tattoo Thief um I mean I really like crime thrillers books and like police dramas but I don't really like graphic ones like I don't mind thrillers I quite like a mystery but I'm not very good at like the gory details and this one did include some like gory details so I don't know it was a very good book I'm not sure I'd recommend it if you have a like weak stomach like I had to keep turning it off and like not listening to certain bits because I can't be dealing with wood but um let me show you the post I'm working on so this one is a little bit different you can't really see it that clearly it's not focusing it's a bit light that's why um but it's going to be Whitby 
um, which is in Yorkshire, and this is the steps to coming down from the Abbey, if anyone knows about Whitby. Um, but I wanted to do slightly different colours, because the other ones I'll show you that I've worked on are all very realistic colours. So let's find um, some knives. So I'll show you the St. Ives one as an example. I haven't finished it, like they're all kind of in the beginning stage. But I thought this would be nice to try something a little bit different. I do like working with like very minimal palettes. Oh, let's go to the dishwasher again. Um, so yeah, this is the St. Ives one. Um, I think one thing, oh, I don't think it's focusing. One thing I might do is change the fonts. But also I might add like palm tree um, kind of silhouette coming around some of the front of here or some, some kind of plants. I think it's missing something, it's a bit plain. Um, but yeah, this was just an Ives one. I'll show you the, the other one actually. So this is my Snowden one. The colours are not coming through very nicely on camera at all. Um, I don't really know how to change that. This background is a bit more creamy, um, which I might, I did have a blue layer I think. Um, so yeah, I had an option with blue, but I actually think I preferred it with the creamy colour um, Because it's very a perfect blue sky in Snowdon, but this one has like a hiker on it as well, which I quite liked It was fun to do um, So yeah, I've done this one this one and I'm working up this one. This is all this week um, So I started this over summer over summer over Christmas <laughs> So this was the first one I did, which is like fairly local to me, outdoor pool. I wanted to kind of do something with water and greenery. It was more of just a trial. I kind of doubt I'll sell this one because realistically, like High Wycombe is probably not somewhere people really want to buy posters for. But I enjoyed like the pool. I mean, what I could possibly do is just um, remove the font. No offence if you live in High Wycombe. It's, I did my foundation course there um, and it's fairly local to me, but it's probably not somewhere people want to buy travel posters for um but yeah absolutely loved my foundation but with a little experiment so i've got this one i've got wales i've got st ives and i've got whitby i mean these posters are not perfect by any means they kind of all started as a sketch i just wanted to mock a few up in colour so that i can kind of see if it'll work or not but i do want to sell other prints as well but i think my main like passion when I'm working for myself is like environments and location and I was going to do lots of like big um, fancy abroad locations but I thought it would be really nice to focus on the UK um, maybe eventually I will do abroad ones but I actually think there's some amazing places to visit in the UK um, I don't think we always need to fly abroad to see these like if you want a beach holiday for example i think you can have lovely places to go in the uk the weather's not always as predictable but i still think it's worth it i mean i know some people that live here that have literally like never gone up north never gone down south like they've only stayed in their one place but then they like travel abroad two times a year and i just think like, it's, it's worth exploring and that goes for anywhere you live <coughs> i'm losing my voice <coughs> like i just don't think you need to stay in one place like if you whatever country you live in i think it's really nice to be able to explore places close to you um yeah um so yeah that's why i'm gonna focus on england so i got an email um but i'm just trying to sort a few things out first before i get onto my posters um i just need to print my register for the school later and also make a little plan It's lunchtime, and I think I'm gonna have something quite exciting, um, which I found. Um, so I have a bit of curry left over from yesterday, which I was gonna have, like a chicken curry, but I found this. 
in the shops. A vegan Cornish paste, pas pasty, 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 pasty. I said it in Cornwall. Why does that? Why does that word sound so wrong to me? A vegan Cornish pasty, which is very exciting. I studied in Falmouth and I had a lot of veggie pasties, but never an actual um, Cornish one. So. Let's see how this tastes. I don't know how much it's going to compare to the real thing because I don't think I've ever had, I, I'm pretty sure in my life I never had a meat Cornish pasty, but. My mum was in town in the morning and she actually came across a vegan steak bake in Greg's. It was the final one on the counter, so she could only get one. And so although I was going to have the Ginsters, I ended up having half the Ginsters and shared half the um, Greg's one with my mum and I actually really enjoyed both they're very different like the Gingsters is quite chunky and the Greg's is more like a mush with really nice pastry I prefer the pastry on the Greg's one um but yeah really unhealthy probably but really delicious lunch <laughs> so my progress this morning ignore the dusty screen is you really can't see it very well the, all the light colours are kind of fading in but I've drawn the steps individually in there I'm going to do some details on the windows on these ones but I'm not going to do these ones in the background um, I've also added in like the, um, like the port distance I'm going to add in a little bit more detail into the water um, and then also some plants along this corner Then it was just time to prep for my class, so it was the beginning of a new term so I just needed to get all the pages ready and also my example sheets on what to show the kids and also this involved trying to draw a circle and realising I no longer have a compass so I just found a plate, a bowl sorry and I just circled it and um, yeah so just prepping and then I was off to the school. I'm back, I'm in my pyjamas and we are about to have dinner. Um, I just felt a bit like, I don't know, just wanted to get changed, wanted to get comfy so I'm in leggings and my pyjama top. But I actually really enjoyed teaching today. Obviously I like, I can't film in the school, kids, school or anything to do with um, what I'm doing. So yeah, so not the most interesting for a vlog is it? Um, but it was very fun, like basically we're making a board game, it's all based on like the industrial revolution and I actually like it surprised me how much the kids really enjoyed it like they got very into the topic and they were very excited to like show me their pieces like um one of the little girls like started doing this thing like when she'd finished her the coloring of what she was doing she like covered it over with a sheet of paper and she was like miss like come see it come see it and then she'd like reveal it and like show me her piece and I was like oh you're doing so well and then like the other kids all started doing that and it was really fun um like yeah so the, the new kids I have are absolutely lovely like um I'm very lucky that this term they yeah like so far obviously they're kids like kids have bad and good days but today was a good day and I really enjoyed it and I am looking forward to food <laughs> literally I swear all I do is eat it's really hard to do these kind of videos because like obviously a lot of the stuff I do I can't actually share and then what I can share is like food so it does look like all I do is eat but I swear I have worked around around this <laughs> So we have roast dinners at really weird days of the week because it's just when everybody's at home with like various work commitments. We just have roast dinners um, like on the day that's best for everybody. And it's Friday so we're having a roast dinner. Um, and I just need to smother it in veggie gravy which is actually the Bisto gravy. We just use the classic Bisto. It doesn't actually have meat in it. And it tastes so good. So I'm going to literally like slash this in gravy and then we're going to watch some TV and relax and I think I'm going to read the rest of the book I'm reading which is a tattoo thief listening to anyway um, while I sort my room out so that is my plan for the rest of the evening thank you so much for watching this vlog and I hope some of it was vaguely interesting and I will see you again in my next video bye bye